Hello. Welcome to the Children's Stations of the Cross at St. Joan of Arc Church. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. My Lord Jesus Christ, you have made this journey to die for me with love unutterable, and I have so many times unworthily abandoned you. But now I love you with my whole heart, and because I love you, I repent sincerely for having ever offended you. Pardon me, my God, and permit me to accompany you on this journey. You go to die for love of me. I wish also, my beloved Redeemer, to die for love of you. My Jesus, I will live and die, always united to you. The first station, Jesus is condemned to death. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. Because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Jesus, you stand all alone before Pilate. Nobody speaks up for you. Nobody helps defend you. You devoted your entire life to helping others, listening to the smallest ones, caring for those who were ignored by others. They don't seem to remember that as they prepare to put you to death. Lord, sometimes I feel alone. Sometimes I feel that others don't stand up for me and defend me when I am afraid. Sometimes I don't feel like I am treated fairly, especially if I am scolded or corrected. Help me to be grateful for what you did for me. Help me to accept criticism and unfairness as you did and not complain. Help me pray for those who have hurt me. The second station, Jesus carries his cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. Because by your holy cross, you have redeemed the world. Jesus, as you accepted your cross, you knew you would carry it to your death on Calvary. You knew it wouldn't be easy, but you accepted it and carried it just the same. Lord, sometimes I don't like the problems that come my way. Sometimes I try to get others to take care of them or solve them for me. Sometimes I become upset and crabby when I am asked to do even the smallest thing to help others. Jesus, help me to carry my burdens as you carried your cross without complaining and help me to ease the burdens of others. The third station, Jesus falls for the first time. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. Because by your holy cross, you have redeemed the world. Jesus, the cross you have been carrying is very heavy. You are becoming weak and almost ready to faint, and you fall down. Nobody seems to want to help you. The soldiers are interested in getting home, so they yell at you and try to get you up and moving again. Lord, sometimes I start to do something, but then get tired of it. I hurry to get finished and sometimes don't do my work well. Sometimes I don't pay attention to what I should be doing. When things get hard for me, sometimes I give up. Jesus, the heavy burden of my sins is on you and bears you down beneath the cross. I ask you to pardon them. May your grace help me to avoid sin. The fourth station, Jesus meets his mother. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. Because by your holy cross, you have redeemed the world. Jesus, you feel so alone with all those people yelling and screaming at you. You don't like the words they are saying about you, and you look for a friendly face in the crowd. You see your mother. She can't help making the hurt, she can't make the hurting stop, but it helps to see that she is on your side and that she is suffering with you. She does understand and care. Lord, sometimes I feel like too many things are going on. Sometimes other kids pick on me and call me names. I need to look around me for a friendly face and for the help I need. I need to share my troubles with those who truly care about me. Jesus most suffering, Mary mother most sorrowful. If by my sins I caused you pain and anguish in the past, I am truly sorrowful. The fifth station Simon of Cyrene helps Jesus to carry his cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. 
because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Jesus, the soldiers are becoming impatient. This is taking longer than they wanted it to. They are afraid you won't make it to the hill where you will be crucified. As you grow weaker, they grab a man out of the crowd and make him help carry your cross. He was just watching what was happening, but all of a sudden, he is helping you carry your cross. Lord, sometimes I see people who need my help. Sometimes I pretend not to hear when my parents call me. I disappear when I know others could use my help. My Jesus, blessed was the man who helped you to bear the cross. Blessed too I will be if I help you to bear the cross. By patiently bowing my neck to the crosses you send me during life. My Jesus, give me the grace to do so. The Sixth Station, Veronica Wipes the Face of Jesus. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. Because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Jesus, suddenly a woman comes out of the crowd. Her name is Veronica. You can see how she cares for you as she takes a cloth and begins to wipe the blood and sweat from your face. She can't do much, but she offers what little help she can. Lord, sometimes I know someone could use a little help and understanding. They may be picked on or teased by others, or just sad or lonely. Sometimes I feel bad that others don't step in to help, but I don't help either. My tender Jesus, you chose to print your sacred face upon the cloth with which Veronica wiped the sweat from off your brow. Print in my soul the lasting memory of your bitter pains. The seventh station, Jesus falls the second time. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. Because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. This is the second time you have fallen on the road. As the cross grows heavier and heavier, it becomes more difficult to get up. But you continue to struggle and try until you are up and walking again. You don't give up. Lord, sometimes things get me down. Others seem to find things easier to do or to learn. Each time I fail, I find it harder to keep trying. Help me when things seem difficult for me, even when it's hard. Help me get up and keep trying as you did. Help me do my best without comparing myself with others. My Jesus, often I have sinned, and often, by sin, beaten you to the ground beneath the cross. Help me to use your grace, so that I may never fall again. The Eighth Station, Jesus Meets the Women of Jerusalem. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. Because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Jesus, as you carry your cross, you see a group of women along the road. As you pass by, you see that they are sad. You stop for a moment with them to offer them some encouragement. Although you have been abandoned by your friends and are in pain, you stop and try to help them. Lord, sometimes I think a lot about myself. I think about what I want and would like people to spend their lives pleasing me. Help me to think more about others. Help me remember that others have problems too. Help me respond to them even when I'm busy or preoccupied with my own problems. My Jesus, you comforted the women of Jerusalem who wept to see you bruised and torn. Comfort my soul with your pity, for in your pity lies my trust. May my heart ever answer yours. The Ninth Station Jesus falls a third time. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. Because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Jesus, your long journey your journey has been long. You fall again beneath your cross. You know your journey is coming to an end. You struggle and struggle. You get up and keep going. Lord, sometimes I fail time and time again. I find it hard to get along with my sisters and brothers. Sometimes I'm not honest. Sometimes I'm lazy. I'm tempted to stop trying. It's just too hard sometimes. Help me think of the cross you carried. Help me continue to hope 
that I can make the changes in my life I need to. You didn't give up. I can have the strength to get up again as well. The tenth station, Jesus' clothes are taken away. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. Because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. The soldiers notice you have something of value. They remove your cloak and throw dice for it. Your wounds are torn open again. Some of the people in the crowd make fun of you. They tease you and challenge you to perform a miracle for them to see. They're not aware that you'll perform the greatest miracle of all. Lord, sometimes I'm tempted to repeat stories I know are unclean and disrespectful. I sometimes try to act grown up by using crude and bad words. Help me to keep myself pure and clean. Help me say things that build up the people around me. Help me overcome worldly desires that I may become more like Jesus. Help me set a good example for others to follow. The 11th station, Jesus is nailed to the cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. Because by your holy cross, you have redeemed the world. You stretched out on the cross. You are now stretched out on the cross you have carried so far. The soldiers take big nails and drive them into your hands and feet. You feel abandoned by the people you love so much. People seem to have gone mad. You have done nothing but good, yet they drive nails through your hands and feet. Lord, sometimes I hurt others. Sometimes I join with friends and decide not to like another. We gang up against another and cause them hurt and pain. Sometimes I say or do hurtful things to my brothers and sisters. I can wonder what they'd think about themselves if they believed everything I told them about themselves. Help me look again at the people around me. Help me see the hurt and pain I have caused in others. Be with me to help me make amends for the harm I have done. The twelfth station, Jesus dies on the cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. Because by your holy cross, you have redeemed the world. As Jesus hung on the cross, he forgave the soldiers who had crucified him and prayed for his mother and friends. Jesus wanted all of us to be able to live forever with God, so he gave all he had for us. Jesus, let me take a few moments now to consider your love for me. Help me thank you for your willingness to go to your death for me. Help me express my love for you. My Jesus, you hung for three hours in agony and then died for me. Let me live for your love and faithful service. The 13th station, the body of Jesus is taken down from the cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. Because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Jesus, how brutally you were put to death. How gently you are taken from the cross. Your suffering and pain are ended, and you are put in the lap of your mother. The dirt and blood are wiped away. You are treated with love. Lord, sometimes I treat others better when they're sad or in pain. When somebody dies, I become very gentle and kind. I notice the good and kind things people say about those who have died. Help me look for the good in those around me, especially those I love the most. Help me live this day as if it were the last. Help me become a more gentle and loving person through my greater appreciation for those around me. The 14th station, Jesus is laid in the tomb. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. Because by your holy cross, you have redeemed the world. Jesus, your body is prepared for burial. Joseph gave you his own tomb. He laid your body there and rolled a large stone in front of it, then went home. What a sad day it has been for so many people. Lord, sometimes I try to keep everything for myself. I find it hard to share my things with my brothers or sisters and with my friends. Help me think of Joseph of Arimathea, who risked his own life as he accepted Jesus' body for burial. 
Help me think of how Joseph loved Jesus so much that he gave him his own tomb. Our closing prayer. Almighty and everlasting God, you have given the human race, Jesus Christ our Savior, as a model of humility. He fulfilled your will by becoming man and giving his life on the cross. Help us to bear witness to you by following his example of suffering and make us worthy to share in his resurrection. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son. Amen. And for the intentions of our Holy Father. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen.